As you know, there's many different ways to finance a car. And what seems to be like the last quick and easy step towards that ownership is typically one of the most important decisions in the process of buying that car. And this can stick with you for years. So let's get into car financing with credit unions. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Not nah, that's okay too. All right, what are credit unions? So picture a bank, right? It holds your money and it gives loans issues credit cards, everything you would expect. Now imagine that same bank, but it's owned by you and the rest of its customers. Credit unions are financial institutions. They're they're just like banks. The kicker is they're not for profit organization. So they're owned by their members. So when you deposit money into a credit union, you're not just a customer. You're a member with a slice of the ownership pie of that credit union. Yeah, sounds pretty cool, but you're probably thinking, what about my bank what about my regular banks well banks are owned by either owners or shareholders but not the customer they are for-profit entities which means their goal is to make as much money as possible and sometimes at the expense of the customer and recently a lot of the time at the expense of the customer now with credit unions any profits they make get funneled right back to the members which means typically like lower fees better savings rates or lower interest rates on loans now don't get me wrong banks offer great services too right i mean sometimes they have more resources much larger networks but credit unions often provide a much more personalized touch. You might say they are more about people while banks are more about profit. Let's talk about the advantages of credit unions. The first one is lower interest rates. Imagine you're choosing between a bank and a credit union for your car loan. One of the first things that you might notice is the interest rate at the credit union is probably gonna be lower than the bank or the car dealership. Why is this? Well, it's because credit unions are not designed to make money for owners or shareholders like regular banks are, but instead they focus on giving value back to their members like you, your member. So with a lower interest rate, you'll end up paying less over the life of your loan. Naturally, right? It's like a direct discount on your car. Number two is flexible credit requirements. So let's talk about credit score. If it's not exactly hitting that high note, you don't need to worry as much with credit unions because they tend to be more understanding. Unlike a bank, which focuses solely on one number, a credit union is going to look at the big picture, like the entire situation. So they'll take into account things like your job, your overall money management skills, and maybe how long you've been a member with the bank. Sometimes even how much money you have in your savings account or checkings account, but each credit union is different. So to sum it up, it's like having a friend who trusts you instead of a teacher who grades you. Number three, member member focused service. With a credit union, you are a customer, but you're not just a customer. You're a member of that group. It's like you're a member of that club, which means they're more likely to work with you to come up with terms that suit your needs and situation, making your loan probably a lot easier to manage. It's more of a teamwork approach rather than like a one size fits all, which is what we get with a lot of banks. Number four, uh, relationship building. This sounds like a credit union uh, ad. It's not a credit union ad, but when you take out a car loan with a credit union, you're not just getting a car. You're really building a long-term relationship. And if you need another loan or financial service in the future, having this established relationship can be a real advantage. So they know you, they'll understand your financial habits, and they're more likely to help you out versus just being a number at a large bank. Number five, we have to throw this in here. It's called financial education resources. It's not really all about a car loan, but what's really great about credit unions is they often provide really good educational resources to help people make better financial decisions. They can guide you through the details of the car loan. They will explain things like interest rates, repayments in a way that's easy to understand. It's like having your own personal financial guide in a way, not just looking at numbers on a paper and not just looking at numbers on a screen like you might at a car dealership or if you get pre-approved with a random bank online you get somebody to talk to. some people love this other people who are really experienced with loans they're like okay i can use without it that's cool too now let's jump into disadvantages of course with anything good there's always something bad right so first one is limited accessibility credit unions often have fewer locations compared to your traditional banks this could mean you don't have a branch nearby, which might be inconvenient for person-to-person -in -person banking. However, a lot of different credit unions are part of shared branching networks, 
that can ease this issue. So while we're on that, number two, limited services and technology. While credit unions can offer many of the same services as a traditional bank, they sometimes fall short in certain areas. For example, they might not offer the range of credit card options that a larger bank does. Or like I remember when I was with a credit union, their technology might not be as up to date, which could mean less intuitive, like online banking experience or fewer features on their mobile app, or maybe you can't deposit your checks in the app where you have to have like, I remember we have this pager where we have to put in the code. So that can kind of be a nightmare. Disadvantage number three, membership requirement. Credit unions often have membership requirements. Like you might need to live in a certain area or work in a certain industry or be related to a current member of a, let's say like a service member. This could limit your ability to join a credit union that you're interested in. So this is one of those things like, how do I get in? But if you can find a reputable credit union, go for it. If you can get in through a member or friend, go for it. It doesn't hurt. It's always good to have that access. Disadvantage number four is limited business services. If you're a business owner, a credit union might not be the best fit for you because they often have fewer resources dedicated to business banking compared to traditional banks, which means fewer services and options for business loans. Although I've had some really incredible experiences with certain credit unions for business loans. So find the ones that are really good with business. Okay, we got advantages, disadvantages. Let's talk about the process of getting a car loan with a credit union. Number one, join a credit union, first things first. So you might need to meet, like I said, certain criteria, like living in a specific area, working in a specific industry, having somebody in your family or so forth. But once you're eligible, you'll have to open an account, typically with a really small deposit. Number two, know your finances. So next, it's essential to know where you stand financially. Look at your credit score and make sure you understand it. Don't worry if it's not perfect. Perfect because credit unions are usually pretty good and at being understanding with poor credit. But the better your credit score, the more likely you are to get a better deal. Number three, research current rates. So do your homework and find out what typical auto loan rates look like right now. This gives you a benchmark for when looking at other auto loans. Number four and really important, get pre-approved. So before you go car shopping, try to get pre-approved for a loan with a credit union. This will give you an idea of how much you can afford and help you avoid the pressure of dealership finance. Number five, read that fine print. Now, when you're looking over loan terms, don't just gloss over the details. I mean, it's natural, but understand your interest rate, understand the term length and any fees or penalties that come with the loan. If there's anything you don't understand, just ask them. It's important to know what you're signing up for. Number six, negotiate your terms. Don't be shy about asking for better terms because as a member, the credit union is more likely to work with you find terms that fit your specific needs. And number seven, I have to throw this in there, it's consider getting added protection. So think about getting added protection with the credit union like gap insurance or warranty. Credit unions often offer these at much lower prices than dealerships because they try to make a lot less money off those services. So I guess in the end, um, choosing between a bank and a credit union or even dealership financing, which is kind of like indirect bank financing for your car loan, really comes down to a personal situation, preferences, and needs. Banks may offer a much wider range of services, but credit unions with their member-focused approach could provide lower interest rates and a more personal touch, especially if you're feeling a little anxious about your credit score. Dealership financing, on the other hand, can often be really convenient, but come with much higher interest rates and a lot less flexibility. So whenever you're ready to buy a car, just remember these steps. You gotta understand your financial health. You've gotta do your research. You've gotta get pre-approved. Read the loan terms carefully and don't be afraid to negotiate. Choosing where to get your car loan is a really serious decision. And after all, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the better decision you can make. Good luck with your car buying journey and I'll see you soon.